Hi guys, happy Wednesday. So I have some free time. Aubrey is taking a nap, ladies. And with a toddler, if you can have them take a nap, you better, you know, thank your lucky stars. <laughs> so um, she's napping and I thought, oh, here's my window to come on and say hello. Hi guys. And um, show you what Zoe is wearing today. This little outfit was sent to us by Bundles of Joy 83, Leslie, her auntie. Hi, auntie. And I adore it on her, so thank you, Leslie. It's this little denim top, and it has this beautiful um, embroidered design on the top, and it's over here on the shoulder straps. It's just so pretty. And then look at the leggings, you guys. They are so gorgeous with the flowers. And then the shoes that I put on her today were sent to, sent to us by Shelly. Thank you, Shelly. I love these shoes on Zoe. And they just go perfectly with the outfit. So it, it all just kind of just came together. And I did switch out her white onesie and I put this lime green one on her because it pulled out the lime green in the top where it's embroidered and in the pants. And then, of course, in Zoe fashion, she has her uh, lace head wrap or headband. Um, we got these at Walmart a while back ago. So she just looks so happy um, and <laughs> so cute today. Thank you, Leslie, again for the outfit. I adore it. It's by Carter's, and it's three-month size. Oh, I just love these leggings. They are just so cute. So yeah, there is my big girl. And I haven't decided, but I think I'm going to take Zoe camping with me. Um, maybe she needs some mommy time. I know Andy and Lucas have been stealing the show. And Andy should be arriving to Amanda's house hopefully tomorrow or Friday. So I'm excited for his artist to get him. And for those of you that are new to my channel, uh, Andy or Andrew, he is the Grant Sculpt by Michelle Fagan. And I sent his little head off to get um, hair rooted on the top. So he'll have hair and painted combo combination. He already has the painted hair. So I can't wait for him to get back home. I miss him terribly. He was mailed off on Saturday. So, yeah, and unfortunately, when my husband went in and mailed him off, ladies, he didn't mail priority. Can you believe that? And when he got into the truck and I seen the receipt, I was like, honey, really? He put insurance and the tracking and all of that other stuff, but he didn't put a priority. <sighs> you know, but, you know, I can't get mad at him. I mean, it's just, it's just ridiculous to get mad over those little things, but, um, you know, I'm just glad that he got the insurance and the tracking on him and stuff like that. So yeah, you know, it is what it is, but he'll get there and he'll be done and then he'll come home and, oh, I can't wait to see the results. So yeah, I've been, um, trying to catch up on the videos here and there. Um, I've had a really busy weekend and going into the week it has been really busy and I'm trying to prepare for our camping trip on this Friday. Um, my parents rented the RV and we'll be staying with them. This is my first time staying in an RV uh, or a travel trailer. That's what it's called. And it's exciting because Jarrett and I have always went tent camping. Um, we enjoy it. We love it. But my parents, um, they don't do tent camping. They usually rent a cabin or they stay in a hotel. Now, when they were younger, I know my dad did some tent camping and my mom. But now at the age that they're at, they, they're just, they just don't want to do that. So my dad um, wanted to rent a travel trailer and uh, Jarrett will be pulling it with his truck. So we're going to pick that up on Friday. And I am very excited. It's really nice. And uh, we're going to get it all loaded up and everything. And 
head up north and have a good time. So I'm very, very excited to try this travel trailer. Like I said, we, we always go tent camping. So um, yeah, and, and I'm thinking about taking her with me. I just wanna make sure, you know, um, by the time Friday gets here, if that's really what I wanna do. And because I don't necessarily think it's going to be um, horrible to take her up there. I shouldn't even use the word horrible. I was like the totally the wrong word to use. Inconvenience, I guess would say. It wouldn't be an inconvenience taking her. Um, it would have been if we were tent camping. I would never want to take her tent camping because there's just too much involved. You got to set up the tent and break everything down and, you know, but as far as the travel trailer is concerned, it's already set up and she would be inside all the time and wouldn't be affected by the elements and stuff like that. So it's a little bit different. So I'm thinking it through. I mean, did I'm going to bring her? I'm going to bring Lucas. I mean, come on, it's those two babies. Um, I told you guys I've been so much more bonded to my open-eyed babies. It's crazy. I just love my open-eyed babies. I just love them looking at me and I uh, gravitate to them more. So uh, especially when we go on outings, I love taking them out. Yeah, so that's what's been going on, ladies. I did see Kimberly Cocoon's video today. Great video, Kimberly, great. Totally switched on the light bulb for me as far as trying to be more prepared for things. Um, and I'm just gonna admit, you know, I'm not prepared when it comes to documenting things for our insurance company. We have insurance on our home, flood and fire and, and things like that, but I've never went to the extent of of how Kimberly was explaining it to me in the video and, and all of you. And it just made me really think, you know, um, you know, it's so funny because you get married, you do all this stuff and you don't really think about <laughs> being prepared in certain areas of your life like that. Um, having a will and, you know, preparing for, you know, disaster or emergencies. Um, some of us do, and then some of us don't. And with every day that goes by and things that happen during our lives, just normal things, work and school and children and the stresses of every day, you kind of just push it to the back burner. You just think like, you know, it's never going to happen to me. I know a lot of us, you know, kind of have that feeling like, you know it's in the back of your mind. You know you should be working on it, but there's just so other, so many other things that get thrown at you that you have to take care of, and you just really have to make it a priority. So I've definitely learned a lot just seeing what Herlanda has had to go through, things that Kimberly was talking about really kind of opened my eyes to be more prepared. Now in Arizona, we definitely don't get affected by hurricanes or tornadoes or earthquakes. I know we've had some trumbles now and then, but never where I was at. More towards the outskirts, I've heard um, of little tremors or something like that. But, you know, our state is pretty calm as far as Mother Nature goes. Now, we do have the monsoons, and some of you don't know what monsoon weather is, and it's just huge amounts of gusts of wind and rain that fall and the gusts of wind that happen during monsoon weather could be up to 80 miles an hour and you will see broken trees um all kinds of damage done from the wind you guys have seen a couple of times i've made videos where my yard has been like <laughs> totally in disarray from you know the previous night storms so that's pretty much all we have to deal with here. You know, we don't have to worry about the tornadoes or the hurricanes and have to have underground bunkers and shelters, thank God. Um, but the worst thing that would happen to us would be a fire, definitely a fire. We do have wildfires here in our state. 
and there has been some flash floods, uh, especially more towards the outskirts and the rural areas. They get a lot of flash floods there, but nothing on the level of what Hermanda has ever had to go through. But it doesn't mean we shouldn't be prepared. And uh, like I said, it just really turned on a light bulb for me. So thank you, Kimberly, for, you know, mentioning those things in your video. I'm always, always trying to improve somehow in my life and, and be more prepared. So yes, I, I, I can't say thank you enough on that. Uh, I think that's about it, guys. I, I know, like I said, I want to catch up on some videos. There are a lot of good videos out there right now. Um, some new Reborn Mommies in our community. I need to write down their names and I need to, you know, put them in the description bar so you guys can check them out. I didn't get a chance to do that today. Um, I also want to make a shout out to Lucy who follows us on Instagram. She's from the UK. Hi, Lucy. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, I think that's about it, guys. I know there's some good tags, I think, that are getting started and other things. So I got to do theme Thursday and I'm going to um, have Lucas participate because I have more farm related things for my boys than I do my girls. Yeah, I'll let you go. Thank you for watching and thank you for um, tuning in today and listening to me chat and seeing your niece and how pretty she looks today. And I hope you guys are having a great week so far. And uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. All right. Toodles. Take care.